Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and you all are welcome to yet another vlog. So today's video will be very important and I'm going to talk about the space infections of the oral cavity and uh, what are the treatment line. So we all know there are 24 spaces in the head and neck region and one space infection can lead to another space infection or a space infection say when the infection spreads to other spaces it may lead to loss of all the vital functions of the body because of the spread of infection or otherwise known as septicemia the body can go into shock also so we have to be very careful while prescribing medicines and prescribing all the drugs which we give to the patient so namely what are the common uh, space infections of the oral cavity so we have the most common ones like the submandibular space infection then cellulitis then submental space infection infraorbital space infection so i'm gonna one by one tell you all the things suppose a tooth is having caries and from that caries there is infection in the radicular pulp or usi caries se agar aapke uh, periapical region of the tooth if it gets infected then you get a normal periapical infection which may lead to a periapical abscess now if you don't treat the periapical abscess it will go into the bone right which have many different kind of consequences if you don't treat the abscess or if you don't extract the tooth or if you don't do the root canal of the particular tooth suppose lower molar so what will happen so that tooth can first it will come into the stage of acute periapical abscess okay in which the patient will have a small swelling and patient will have severe pain along with fever but even if you don't control it with medicines it may lead to a spread of infection below the mylohyoid muscle into the submandibular space which is a uh, which will cause a huge facial disfigurement okay sometimes what patient do patient give hot fermentation or they apply amrutanjan balm over the particular area so what happens the submandibular space infection you are giving further space for the intercellular matrix you are creating a lot of space into the intercellular matrix by giving hot fermentation and the infection spreads so the infection spreads into the infraorbital region infratemporal region so from one space infection uh, it can lead to multiple space infections suppose submandibular space infection is said cova fifth submandibular submental space infection then that submandibular space infection can cause bilateral space infection and cause ludwig angina or it can go into the retropharyngeal space retropharyngeal space matlab ki uh, inside the neck matlab ki back side in front of the pharynx then it can go into a superior mediastinal infection also so prescribing good right medicines at the right time and right treatment at the right time is very important for patients usually um, all patients who are extremely poor or those patients who have not got any kind of facilities or uh, you can see some some these kind of problems not in uh, individuals who are working or who are having some good financial backup or social status is good सो so, थोड़ा सा भी पेन होता है तो हमारे क्लिनिक में पेशेंट आ ही जाते हैं लेकिन जो इकोनॉमिकली बैकग्राउंड जिनकी थोड़ी लो होती है रोड साइड बेगर्स हो गए जो भी है तो उनमें क्या होता है दे आर क्वाइट इग्नोरेंट एंड उसकी वजह से काफी ज्यादा दिखे जाते हैं इस टाइप के पेशेंट तो जितने भी स्पेस इन्फेक्शन है तो ये सब स्पेस इन्फेक्शन वॉट मेडिकेशन वी शुड गिव मेडिकेशन एंटीबायोटिक्स एनालिस हम तो सब जानते हैं लेकिन इन फ्यू कंडीशन we need to give higher antibiotics to these kind of patients now in normal abscess what we give we give amoxicillin plus clavulanic acid 625 mg and along with that we give one analgesic like enzoflam ho gaya zerodol sp ho gaya zerodol cr 200 ho gaya or we give medications along with that for gastritis now suppose there is a huge cellulitis itna bada face to aap kya denge so in what i do uh, generally give in my clinic first of all the patient will have a lot of pain so in order to reduce the inflammation i first give the patient one intramuscular injection of bovarin dt by taking and before giving the injection i always tell the patient to um, eat good food and uh, whatever if he is not able to also then i give him at least one ors and then i tell the patient to get one injection right there so if you give the intramuscular injection all the inflammation will reduce drastically very suddenly and within 1 hour patient will get at least relief from the pain so if you reduce the pain of the patient patient bahut khush ho jayega he will be very happy rather than like he will be telling you like you are god so 
what i give i usually prefer intravenous injections if the patient is having lot of discomfort i give cefixim i give trexol less 1.5 grams okay so if i give that within 6 to 7 hours the swelling dramatically reduces or otherwise if the patient is not diabetic then i give augmentin 1 gram tablets which is also available in the market amoxicillin other medicines which i usually give sometimes i also give metronidazole 400 mg along with that three times daily or two times daily if the infection is very severe i give three times or usually i prescribe most of the times two times then next comes painkillers are very important because not only they reduce the pain they also reduce the inflammation along with that i also give trypsin chymotrypsin combination of uh, chimeral fort and with matlab drastically it helps to reduce the inflammation in cellulitis patients now if a case of ludwig angina come like come to your uh, clinic ludwig angina means submandibular space infection bilateral infection and also the submandibular space so these kind of cases you should immediately refer to the hospitals because uh, that may cause airway obstruction and uh, just waiting for the medicines to work and uh, that may lead to and patient is also stressed during the time he is not able to breathe so whenever what happens is during um, ludwig angina, angina the airway gets blocked and the patient gets laryngeal stridor means the patient will have difficulty in breathing so because the posterior part of the tongue will fall back in the epiglottis and the patient won't be able to breathe in air so these kind of cases rather than facing such an emergency you can just refer the patient to a higher center the emergency department will take care of these kind of patients other medicines which i usually prescribe along suppose the patient is diabetic and which is uncontrolled are some i sometimes give lynx injection or dalacin c300 i also give to this clindamycin 600 mg i also prefer in some patients those in which patients who have done lot of antibiotics who take lot of antibiotics now if you ask me if these kind of medicines in cardiac patients cardiac patients are of many different types okay it can be a left ventricular failure it can be a valve issue or it can be infective on endocarditis it can be some kind of mitral valve regurgitation so you have to take the proper history of the patient suppose uh, example if the patient is having myocardial infarction okay or the patient is already having some kind of valve issue infective on endocarditis so before uh, doing any kind of procedure in these kind of patients you always have to give prior antibiotics half an hour or one hour before the procedure usually i give amoxicillin plus clavulanic acid 1 gram before the procedure if the patient is allergic to amoxicillin i give erythromycin 500 mg or if still the patient is allergic i give vancomycin also sometimes rarely only i think only once i had given so sometimes i have also given meripenem to the patient because uh, patient was diabetic once she came to my clinic and uh, sh- she was not responded to augment in 1 gram also so i had to refer those uh, kind of patients to endocrinologist who suggested me to give meripenem so it's a higher antibiotic and very costly also so um, see managing a clinic these kind of cases and knowledge of drugs is very important because in my other video video in which i had told about a drug uh, like the role of pharmacology in dental practice is very important it is the most important subject which can lead to improve your career a lot because if you have good knowledge of medicines and drugs so it will really help you to give medications to the patients who are needy okay this kind of patient suppose the submandibular space is infection it's not reducing with medicines so sometimes we have to do a incision and drainage also in these kind of patients and uh, incision and drainage is not a very big thing ki bahut mushkil hai you can also do in your clinic is very easy you need to have a number bp blade number 15 and then uh, give proper local anesthesia and then you can easily excise whatever pus is coming you can make a incision and just take out all the pus whatever infection will trust patient will have immediate relief if you take out the pus so i hope you understand my topic today and you understood what i have said and at least if you have even understood 10% of it it will be beneficial for me and you as well so take care guys uh, i'll make more clinical oriented videos nowadays so abhi bahut dino se topic ki samajh mein nahi aa raha tha ki main kya banau to maine socha chalo isi topic pe thoda sa video banaya jaye ek bahut vast topic hai to is pe 10 minute ka video banana justice nahi rehta lekin फिलहाल ये वीडियो अब देखिए अगर अच्छा है तो लाइक करिए एंड प्लीज डी प्लीज डू ज्वाइन मी इन माय चैनल एज अ चैनल मेंबर एंड यू कैन आल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल इफ यू लाइक इट एंड डू फॉलो मी इन इंस्टाग्राम इन साई अंडरस्कोर टेंटल टिल देन हैव अ वेरी ग्रेट डे टेक केयर